All right, beer two of the two advent calendars, third day, and this one is the Minhaus Brewery, or the uh, Sam's Club advent calendar from Sam's Club. And where are we? Where is day three? These ones are harder to read. There it is. Something tells me it's going to be a white ale. It's a West Coast IPA coming in at 6%. Let's get to the damn bar and review it. All right. Second beer from the Menhaus Brewing. Second beer of the second advent calendar here on the third day. Third day. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Here we go, Advent Beers, West Coast of India. This is the Advent Beers from the uh, Menhaus one. This is the one from the Sam's Club, West Coast IPA. And it comes in at 6%. It shocked me because I was expecting it to be a Belgian white like the other one because they were kind of going together, it seemed like. So, pleasantly surprised with that. All right, got a little gunk here. So, West Coast IPA, there is a style of beer that would probably be my least favorite would be a West Coast IPA. Oh yeah, that smells soapy. Real hoppy, out of the can. But I may be pleasantly surprised. We shall see. We haul, doggy look at that. Yeah. Couldn't even fit it all in there. <laughs> all right. Very dark and amber, like caramelly color, it looks like to me. Fairly clear. Big, thick head. Nice, tight knit bubbles. Looks like a nice, big, thick three, almost four fingers of. Uh, of head on that on nice wet looking foam all right that's pretty dark pretty caramelly i'm gonna say from what i'm seeing here that's like a 10 or maybe even a 13. all right let's get a nip of the head mm. wow Okay, <laughs> it not only kind of looks caramelly, but there's a little bit of a caramelly note here. Piney, caramelly in the head there. Yeah, malty, not bad. Salute. Hmm. Okay. That's not bad at all. That's not soapy. It's about a medium body. Really smooth. Very smooth, rather, you know. Got a lot more piney, rich flavors than, I believe, the first beer. The first day was the... Uh, just an IPA, and uh, if I'm mistaken, and this one seems to have a lot better flavor. Like it's a little bit more pronounced, but it's not like punching me in the face with the IBUs and, and like the soapy hoppiness or anything. It's there in the finish. It does have that little slight soapy, you know, in the bit that, that I call soapy in the end, but it's not that bad. Hmm. It's got a piney, you know, getting like that piney note. Citrusy. Well, not really as much citrusy as it is piney, and it's, it's not bad. And malty. Like they, they use quite a, and I wonder what the, the malt bill is in that. That's pretty good. Food wise, as I'm, you know, drinking this. 
Mm. I'm craving tacos. Any tacos. Street tacos, any kind of tacos would be good with that. Hell, the Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. <laughs> I actually might have to get that. So, that'd be food wise. Big B beer review grade. As I said, I just pulled it out of the box. I didn't know what it was. No time for research and see whatever, you know, it has online. I like this one. I don't think I really go out of my way to buy this again because I'm not really a West Coast IPA fan. I ain't really a fan of the West Coast period, but uh, anyways. So would I recommend it though? I probably would because out of all the West Coast IPAs, I actually like this one. I actually probably would recommend this, but I don't know if they make this in, in besides the advent calendar. So, not bad. Would I drink it again? Absolutely. So, I think I'm going to give this one a B plus. Yeah. Awesome. That's the second beer from the second advent calendar on the third day of the beer advent calendars. Y'all make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to stay tuned for the rest of these beers being reviewed up until the day before Christmas for me. And it'll be posted a day late because of, you know, just you know, logistics. So the last one will come out on Christmas. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. Till next time here at the damn bar. Salute.